Captain Connor saves the day as he scored three minutes into added time to make sure that Derby win 3-2 against Burton Albion live on Sky TV. It's a game where Derby would have felt that they should have been much more comfortable, finding themselves 1-0 up late on in the first half and scoring early in the second, they'll have wanted to see the game out. Unfortunately, they decided that the performance was going to drop off and they just couldn't fi find the levels for about 10 minutes in the game. That led to Burton scoring twice and bringing themselves back on level terms. Joe Hugel, on his first appearance for Burton Albion, scored a really nice goal beating Josh Vickers when he was one-on-one. -on -one. I'm not particularly convinced by Josh Vickers especially after tonight's performance. Callum Elder, again, not 100% my cup of tea right now. Callum Elder on the halfway line for the second goal commits to win the ball and there's absolutely no reason why he should commit. He needs to make sure that his runner doesn't get the ball first and he misses the ball, man's through one-on-one -on -one, and there's nothing that Vickers can really do. I can't blame him for that second goal. But for the first one, I felt it was telegraph where the ball was going to go. Curtis Nelson was showing him inside, showing him inside, but Vickers just couldn't quite step enough and dive enough to get the ball away from the goal. But let's talk about the first half. Derby were majorly in control. Didn't really feel any danger from Burton. They had a couple of moments, but nothing really major. And uh, Nathaniel Mendes Lang breaks away late on in the first half, squares it across to Tom Barkazen, who puts the ball away. Tom Barkazen, I don't think he had a great game, but he comes away with man of the match from Derby. I think he got a goal and an assist, although I didn't think he did much other than that. And obviously, goals and assists change games, so it's massively important. And that's probably why Paul Warren kept him on the pitch. Obviously, late on, Conor Horahan scored in the second half. Both of the Burton goals came within a, probably a 10, 15-minute period where Derby just decided they just didn't want to play football. It just got really sloppy. And as much as you can say the way we won tonight, not being at our best, it's just one of them where you don't want it. It's not a champion's win. It's a disappointing, poor performance. But we've come away with three points and... That's all down to Conor Horahan at the end of the day. Brilliant finish late on in the game. Keeper just couldn't quite read the flight of the ball and it just nestled in the bottom corner as he wheeled away in celebration. It was it was just... There's not much to really say about the game because the first half we was in control. Second half we scored early and then just stopped playing. And it was just a bit odd. It was just one of them games where you're just not 100% sure what's going to happen but Burton their new manager will be absolutely delighted with that performance in my opinion from what I saw from them I don't think they'll be in the bottom four I don't think they'll even be struggling with relegation towards the end of the season but obviously there's a long way to go and hopefully they can close out the January window and get a few players in to make sure they're safe obviously nothing else has happened with Corey Blackett Taylor but I think Derby definitely need that. I felt like the options off the bench, we had Dejon Brown, Joe Ward, Louis Sibley, Liam Thompson, Tyrese Fauna, I just did, and Sonny Bradley, and obviously goalkeeper Wildsmith. I just felt like we didn't really have a proper forward, a proper winger who we could bring on to replace any of the front three or four. Um, Tyrese John Jules, his loan is supposed to expire today. Uh, I've not heard Paul Warren's post-match presser, so I'm not 100% if they've decided if he's staying or not. I know Warren wants to keep him, but we'll see that at the end of the season. We'll see that at the end, like before the end of the window, and it's obviously a massive decision for the club and for John Jules himself. So yeah, let me know down in the comments what you thought about the game. Let me know if you think Derby deserved all three points. In my personal opinion, I think if we'd played the same the second half as we did the first half, we'd have won the game 3 or 4 nil. But we didn't. It was a game of two halves and Derby got lucky at the end of the day. They find themselves in third position, level on points with second place. And I believe they're only two points behind Portsmouth with a game in hand. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Keep your eyes peeled for the next video. I'll be previewing the upcoming matches. 
and there'll be a few Formula One videos out in the coming days. So So keep your eyes peeled on the channel, make sure you hit the notification bell and I'll catch you in the next video.